official site uh, in this video I'm going to show you how you can join a uh, non special data with the special data okay for this uh, I'm going to load two data the first one is the SHP for loading this you need to see this type SHP file and simply click here this dot SHP click here and drag it to this large panel okay after doing this but i want to suggest uh, for this csp data to simply drag here to load this csp data you need to go to layer then add layer go to this add delimited text layer click here after clicking there you need to simply browse where that data is okay then here it is my data this total number of population and registered this portal okay i'm going to click here and click open okay now this uh, geometry definition it has no geometry it is non-special data and other option you keep as by default and you can see here this is the data district wise total number of registered voters and total population okay i am simply going to click on this add option click add okay now we have got our two data now we are going to join these two data but uh, before joining this data it is important to know why you need to join this data you need to join this data because normally when you get those say files of districts or uh, so wars or local levels or province then you are not going to get other extra data within it like the population data the literacy rate the uh, and other things according to district you are going to get those extra data like population and literacy and other things in csv format released by different departments so and those data you need to and you need to prepare maps according to populace according to population wise district and according to literacy rate and other things and to do that you need to append those csp data of uh, literacy of asx and other things to this set file and we are going today we are going to do the same so first uh, let's open this attributable of both two and also how you can do this joining uh, simply click here right click here and go to attributable okay we have open this uh, open this attributable i'll minimize it for some time and do the same for here as well okay now we are going to compare these two things Okay, total population of registered voters, and this is the Nepal district. Okay, let's see here. Okay, if you see, if we compare these two data, and we see a common field, this district, and uh, till this uh, this Udaipur, and this district, and you till this Udaipur it's common it's common and here are the data according to district wise total number of rest voters and total population what i want here is i want these two data in my this safe file because i want to prepare map on the basis of district wise total number of registered voters and for this i need these two columns i can simply create here new field and enter the data so i am going to join these two columns here and for this i'll be using this district column this district column this one with this capital district column this one okay and you need to make sure that that uh, there is no any kind of spelling mistake here because if you sometimes there might be spelling mistake and uh, that the fields the, their values will be null values so make sure there there is no any kind of spelling spelling mistakes in both in this column in this column here as well i have checked it already and everything is fine 
if there is some kind of such errors then you need to edit the data and if all everything is common in this column and this column then only join the data okay so here this both column are common and everything is fine and now i'm going to join this two data both columns you are joining this district with this district so the most important thing here before joining is you need to see whether this which data type this data is in simply click here over here okay it says it is in text okay simply click here and over here it is in string. so text and string we were successful to join this uh, table but sometime if there is a different kind of data like one field is in integer and another is in string and in that case the table won't be joined make sure both that both common columns have same data type else your data won't be joined but here uh, string and this uh, text were able to join now and uh, so you need to make sure of that thing if those data types are in different if those two columns those two common columns have different data type you need to convert them okay okay i want this two column here so i will be joining this uh, layer to this okay uh, you can simply minimize okay simply go to here this nepal stick and double click there go to joins and uh, create a new join okay i'm going to this join here this is the csv file that we keep normally and join field this is the with the district that i want to join both the, that common field values and target field will be my this capital district remember in this two field you are going to keep those common common columns of both table and uh, in join fields and tick this join fields mark and which are the things that you want to uh, keep okay i will say i need this total number of registered voters and total population and also tick this custom field name prefix because i don't want this long prefix in my field name so i'm simply i had simply selected that and pressed backspace now click on okay now finally click apply now we are again going to here right click here open attribute table now you can see here total number of registered voters and total population so that means this awesome district total number of registered voters were this 25 this numbers and total population was this number okay okay we have successfully joined the this joined two table here and this is the data that uh, you wanted so again i'm saying that while joining these two table make sure that both columns have the same field like i had shown previously if there is any kind of spelling mistake spelling mistake in one in this district in one table and in other district there is different kind of spelling then you are going to see the null value in that particular feature row so make sure of that that thing so this is how table joining is done in qgis and this is one-to-one -one kind of relationship uh, so thank you viewers this was for today we are going to meet soon in other video thank you